once we're on the back end of our Squarespace website, the first thing that we have to do is click on pages. And now we're going to scroll down all the way to not linked section. Um, then we're going to click on the plus icon right here and we're going to add a blank page. So now let's title this and you can do something like link in bio, Instagram, or maybe even both like Instagram, like link in bio. <laughs> then click enter. So now we're just going to click on the gear icon right here so that we can add a title and an, a URL slug. This is really important for SEO. Uh, so it's a really good practice. So as you can see, Squarespace automatically gives your page title a name. So it's using the same one, uh, Instagram link in bio. But for the URL slug, you want to do something more enticing. So something like click here or maybe even click me. So you're going to do that. Click hyphen me. Once you decide on your URL slug, then just click save. And now we can start editing our page. So this is it right here. And we're just going to click on edit. And I really love to start with spacers, you know, because this really defines the structure of the whole page. So I'm actually going to add three spacers. And I always like to remove the text down below. So now we're just going to drag them next to each other, just like that. Yes, that's what I want. I wanted the middle spacer to be in the center. That size is perfect, so I'm not going to do anything else to the spacers. Um, I'm just going to click on the insert point right here. And this is where you have complete creative liberty to add anything you like. You can start this page with an image of yourself or maybe with your business logo um, with some text or if you just want to go straight to the button so you can do that as well. I want to start with some text. So I'm just going to do something like welcome and then change it to heading one and then I align it to the center and then I actually created a text image for this so I'm going to add an image after welcome, upload an image So while it's downloading, I'm going to just um, update the, the title. Again, this is really good for SEO purposes. I'm going to do something like start browsing, Wondersoul's creative web design. Click apply. And now I'm going to begin adding the buttons. So click on button. So I want them to send them to my blog page. So I'm going to do something like read my latest blog post here. And then add the link right here, click the gear icon. And then if you have a link that's outside your website, you're going to add that right there. If not, you're just going to go to page and then just look for a link within your site. So this is my blog. Um, this is it. And then click save. I want the size to be medium alignment to the center. That's perfect. And actually, I just looked at the button and that is too much. So I'm going to delete my. There you go. And then click apply. Now I'm going to add more buttons. Perfect. Now that I have all my buttons, I also want to add an image of my most recent freebie. So I'm just going to click the answer point again. And then before this, I want to add some text. Grab my freebie. I'm going to change this to heading two. Center align it. And then after the text, that's where I want to add my image. And again, I'm just going to optimize the name, which is really good for SEO purposes. So I like what I have and I'm going to add Wondersoul's Creative and then go to design, scroll down and then add your link right here. Click apply. And that's pretty much it. And of course, don't forget to click save.
And that's it. So I really love how this looks. It's very simple. And the last step would be to just upload the link to your Instagram account. Um, one more thing, this is completely optional. If you want to have all your buttons be the same size, and if you want to get rid of your header and your footer, I have a CSS code that will actually solve that problem for you. So it's very simple. So if you're interested in that, just uh, go to the blog post and I'll have the instructions and everything you need in order to get rid of the top and the bottom and make your buttons the same size. So I really hope you liked this tutorial, that this was helpful. But if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email or just comment down below. And thank you so much for watching once again and I'll see you on the next one.